$50,000 for a horse, $65,000 for sterling services. Is this real life? Nope. This is Photo Finish Live, a horse racing game on the Solana blockchain. I will compare Solana's Photo Finish to Cardano's Equine, and this on two levels. First on the game mechanics, and then on the approach to blockchain. I want to show members of both communities what is on the other side of the fence, so to speak, and hopefully spark some interactions between them. An important note, Equine is still in development. A lot of information comes from their white paper. I understand the frustration of waiting for a game to be out, but it may also present an opportunity for those who position themselves early. For reference, the floor on photo finish for a racing horse is around $350. On Equine, it is 80. Photo finish and Equine are both games where players can race, breed, and trade their NFT horses. There are many similarities. For instance, on both sides, horses have a life cycle. They are born, at age 2 they can race, at age 3 they can breed, and they eventually die. This is how it is in real life, so no surprises there. You can see that while horses live longer on photo finish, the actual time they can race is much shorter than on equine. I think this makes sense considering that on photo finish, what you see is roughly what you get. Attributes such as speed, stamina and so on are fixed for the whole life of the horse. With a hidden peak factor in the background which can push the horse above the limit for an unknown period of time. On equine, natural stats change each season until age 6, they are stable until age 12, and then they start declining. Equine also has a training program which allows players to improve specific stats. Horses also have different growth rates, so a slow horse today could have an explosive growth later. The constant evolution of the stats makes it that each season is like playing with a slightly different horse. Photo Finish offers many different kinds of races, much like real life. Claiming, maiden, allowance, handicap, graded and ungraded stake races. At the time of this video, December 2023, six racing tracks were available, including the legendary Churchill Downs. On equine side, race types should be similar, except no claiming races will be available at first. When it comes to race tracks, one has been revealed so far, with another being in the works. Entry fees range from $3.5 to $300 on photo finish, to be paid with their in-game currency, Derby. What is particularly interesting is that anyone participating in a race receives crown tokens as a reward. Crown is the utility token of photo finish and it is worth around $1 a piece at the time of this video. This means that under some specific conditions, it is possible to earn enough tokens to be profitable regardless of the race results. Note that horses can race once a day on photo finish versus five times on equine. Over there, entry fees should range from 10 to 250 ADA. With the recent volatility on ADA, it will be interesting to see if the team pivot to a stablecoin such as USDM. The team announced in the past that they can accommodate any type of tokens, so there is hope. My personal fantasy is to see known projects such as Claymates, Ape Society or Snack sponsoring their own races. Then the entry fees would be paid with their tokens and I think that would be great for community events. The racing system on Equine will rely on racing points. Those points are earned and lost depending on performance. The number of racing points decide in which class a horse falls, out of 5 classes in total. The more expensive entry fees will be reserved to the higher classes. On photo finish, races can be restricted by grades or by benchmark figures. Grades are the natural stats of the horses, while the benchmark is a calculation of the horse's performance. One last thing, equine will be using jokies. These are separate NFTs that will visibly impact a horse's mental stats. Those mental stats are hidden and they roughly dictate how the horse behaves in different situations, such as when it's fighting in the middle of the pack or when it's leading the way. What I particularly enjoy about Jokies is, is that they have their own backstory and even theme songs. They are an integral part of the equine universe. When horses reach age 3, they can be switched to breeding. 
In that case, they can no longer race. Inbreeding is allowed in photo finish, but it carries a heavy penalty up to the third generation. In equine, it is simply not possible if two horses share at least one grandparent. Another difference between those games are the timings for breeding. On photo finish, you have to breed during the breeding window. It lasts around one week at the beginning of each season. This means that you need to wait two to three weeks until you get your baby horse at the beginning of the following season. On equine, you can breed any time and, like photo finish, you get your horse at the beginning of the next season. This means that theoretically, you could breed on the last day of the season, so 31st of the month, and the next day you get a new NFT. In both games, it is possible to breed with another player by paying them a stud fee. Photo finish allows 35 covers per season. Equine, only 5. In-house breeding is also possible. It costs 20% of the public price if the stud is on the breeding market, or a flat 100 USD fee in photo finish. Equine will have a dynamic breeding fee system to be paid by the owner of the mare. It is meant to encourage or discourage breeding depending on the ratio between the horse population on one side and the player base on the other. Overpopulation has killed many blockchain games in the past and the right breeding fee is essential to the game's sustainability. One thing I like in equine is color breeding. The horse's coat color is part of the DNA and the metadata. The fact that some colors are rare adds a collectability layer. I appreciate that it's not all about pure performance, but also about the beauty of the horses themselves. Some colors actually count very few horses, so it will be interesting to see if these survive or go extinct. Photo Finish and Equine have very different approaches to blockchain technology. Photo Finish makes it very easy for anyone to join. Register with your email address, buy the in-game currency with crypto or your credit card, and start playing under a minute. They even give you a free horse to practice, although you cannot earn with it. It is a very Web2 approach that for sure contributed to their big success. No need for a wallet, the horse is custodied on photo finish side, no need to sign transactions neither to play, just click a button and that's it. The user experience is extremely fluid. They have an official partnership with the prestigious Kentucky Derby and regularly host sponsored events. With such an outreach, it makes sense to make onboarding easy. While they make it easy for the everyday internet user, they also have their crown utility token for the crypto crowd. This token is earned by playing the game, or can also be bought separately on a decentralized exchange. It has different use cases. The first one is that it can be converted back into the in-game currency, Derby, and then used on the marketplace. You can also buy it just for mere speculation, or more interestingly, you can stake it on a racetrack. Depending on the size of the stake, the user gets a percentage of all payouts that this racetrack gave out during a specific season. When one crown equals one USD, the monthly yield hovers around 1% per month or 12% per year. Definitely interesting. Another avenue which is very popular around the world is the gambling aspect. Provided that the players go through KYC, meaning providing a valid ID, and is located in an authorized country, they can wager on the race outcomes and earn, or lose, without even owning a horse. Photo Finish is a very complete game in that sense. It caters to racers, stakers, gamblers, everyone is welcome. Equine, on the other hand, is more of the Cardano grassroots game, it's very focused on the blockchain user. First, players don't need an account. They sign into the game with their wallet. If they have a horse and some ADA, they can send it to a race by signing a transaction. When the race is over, players have to claim back their horse. If they won the race, they also receive their prize money. This means that they are instantly paid directly into their wallets. On a more technical aspect, Equine is basically using the blockchain as a database. All race announcements and race results will be there for everyone to see. All transactions are there to know who won what and how much prize money they received. Beyond transparency, having everything publicly available on the blockchain allows third parties to build on top of equine. For instance, there is no gambling aspect. But on the blockchain, anyone can see 
the race announcements and the race results. So someone could read the on-chain data and build their own betting platform. There is no marketplace neither, but anyone can go on an external marketplace to sell their horses, jockeys or studding vouchers. The fact that stud vouchers are NFTs open up a lot of possibilities. You can give them away, you can give them away during contests, you can sell them as a bundle, or simply you can adjust the price depending on the demand or how many days are left in this month to breed. It is actually very flexible. Photo Finish and Equine are both inspired by real-life horse racing. That's why their game mechanics are pretty similar. The difference lies in their intended audience. Photo Finish is a fantastic game for the everyday person. Their user experience is silky smooth. People can earn by playing, betting or staking. It caters to many different kinds of people and it is obvious why this game is so popular. They chose what I would call a Web 2.5 approach. It is a very nice browser game with a crypto layer added to it. It is centralized for the sake of convenience and evidently a lot of people are totally fine with that. Also they offer betting services which usually are highly regulated so I can imagine that they need to retain a certain level of control. Equine on the other hand is much more of a web free game. Their target is clearly the blockchain user who highly values decentralization, self-custody and transparency. This is not for everyone and it may hinder their growth. At the same time, everyone is like that on Cardano, and there is no other horse racing game there, so it might just work. It will be interesting to see if they ever plan to open up to the non-crypto users, how are they gonna do it? The bottom line is that there are plenty of people who enjoy horse racing games and blockchain. Yes, the games are a bit different, the blockchains are also different, but the people are the same. We just want to play, we just want to see a horse you know, going super fast on the racetrack and be first and cross the finish line before anyone else. That's what we live for. And I think that both games will provide that experience. Now tell me what do you think? Are you following both projects or are you betting only on one horse? Let me know in the comments. Until next time.